So tonight, after asking for weeks, we finally have an update on those plans to bring a grocery store to downtown Buffalo. Now, at the State of the City address this year, Mayor Brown laid out the details for a new mixed-use project at 201 Ellicott Street. It included a Topps supermarket. We asked the mayor for an update today. 7 Eyewitness News anchor Jeff Russo here now to tell us what the mayor said. Yeah, Keith, and actually, it's actually been three months to the day, back on February 5th when it was announced that Topps Markets would be the preferred operator for a downtown grocery store, with Simonelli Real Estate selected as the developer for that 201 one Ellicott Street project. Well, today, a spokesperson for Simonelli tells me the company continues to work with the city to iron out details that will continue to move the project forward. The next filing with the Common Council is now expected within the next few weeks. Now, you may remember back in February, top sort of tempered enthusiasm about this project, saying the company hadn't entered into formal negotiations and that tops would only explore the, quote, feasibility of a grocery store at the location. Now, on several occasions over the last three months, a top spokesperson has told me there is really nothing new to update. So today, 7 Eyewitness News asked Mayor Brown where things stood. Well, the city uh, feels uh, there will be a grocery store there. Uh, there have been meetings uh, that the city has participated in uh, with TOPS and with uh, the developer. Uh, we believe that those conversations have gone well. Uh, things continue to move forward, and we are confident that there will be a grocery store at 201 Ellicott. Now, the site at 201 Ellicott Street is currently a surface parking lot near the hotel at Lafayette, tucked between the Buffalo and Erie County Library and the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority. A grocery store really only part of that project, which is expected to include housing and also a parking component. Of course, we'll stay on top of any progress. Jeff Russo, 7 Eyewitness News.